revealed the subtle tricks Meghan uses to avoid upstaging Prince Harry at royal engagements after seeming too confident before they got married. From her very first royal engagement in December 2017, Meghan has been poised and confident in the limelight but lately she's been careful to ensure her star power doesn't eclipse her husband. According to body language expert Juddy James, the former Suits star 37, initially seemed to have the upper hand, dominating the conversation in their engagement interview. However, since becoming a member of the royal family in May when she married Harry she realized that a constant scene-stealing trade from Meghan could have alienated the public and her husband. She started using techniques such as standing slightly behind Harry at events and allowing him to ferry her along when they were holding hands. But that's not to say that Meghan has become submissive as she uses quasi-maternal gestures such as rubbing Harry's back to secure. All successful marriages are based on finely tuned and often fluctuating power signals that form a complementary fit for the couple, Juddy told Female. When Meghan and Harry's engagement was first announced the power was firmly in the former suit star's hands. Meghan arrived in the UK as a confident, eloquent, grown-up bride to be with a glittering Hollywood career on her CV, Juddy explained. She campaigns for women's equality and quite clearly had a far more professional approach to all the press attention and interviews than her new husband. Right from the very start we could see during their engagement appearances that it was Meghan controlling, leading and reassuring her via gestures like arm rubs, pats and other subtle tie signs. She sat to the front during their TV interview, often dominating the conversation as Harry gazed at her like a man who couldn't quite believe his luck. Once they were married though royal protocol kicked in, while a constant scene-stealing trade from Meghan could have alienated the public and her husband, Juddy explained. Unlike his dad, Harry is a lovable royal star with his own strong fan base. He's also served with the military so taking a more compliant role might have caused the ego and status problems. Kenny Meghan appears to have adjusted her body language accordingly to subtly avoid upstaging her during their joint appearances. Meghan's very smart answer to all these complex pressures seems to be to push her husband forward during royal events, allowing herself to be towed along if they were holding hands or standing slightly behind him or even gazing up at him. While Meghan is eager not to outshine her husband, she's still a strong woman who doesn't want to fade into the background. According to Juddy, she does this with subtle gestures such as rubbing or patting Harry on the back. She's registering her more subliminal dominance via a series of small back touches or pats that look quasi-maternal and which are reassuring, stirring or controlling gestures, she explained. Harry's James Bond-style departure from his wedding showed he likes to see himself in the role of romantic hero. But he is also still the small boy who lost his mother at an early age and so the quasi-maternal approach from Meghan seems to complement those needs as much as the flattering and flirty behaviors from her that boost his confidence by appealing to his alpha side. Juddy believes Meghan has learned the delicate balance of mothering while eager boosting from her time as an actress. Her technique of stepping back and pushing Harry forward might be intrinsic to her skills and experience, she explained. Hierarchy is clearly and emphatically defined in the acting profession. Actors who get work will know their place in terms of not upstaging the bigger names on the bill, although they will also work to gradually raise their own profile to get to the top themselves too.